One of the things that you're going to struggle with is how much storage to bring into the field. Now, I used to be a fan of backing up my cards and then recycling them on the trip, but the cost of storage has gone way down. It has gotten so much easier to just bring the amount of storage that you need. For me, typically on a trip, I'm traveling with about 64 gigabytes of storage a day. Now, that may seem like a lot, but for me, I'm a heavy shooter. I do some time lapse, I shoot video, I shoot panoramics, and I shoot raw. All of those contribute to being a pretty heavy data user. If you're not shooting that, you're more of a JPEG shooter or a casual shooter, adjust accordingly. But do assume that you're going to be shooting for several hours in a day. So I come from the school of thought that it's better to be safe than sorry. The good news, though, is that card prices continue to fall. For example, I picked up a bunch of 32 gigabyte cards before heading out on the trip, and the cost was between a dollar and two dollars a gigabyte for storage. Well, that's a lot cheaper than losing pictures or accidentally erasing a drive. So here's my strategy. I'm going to shoot a card until it's full, and then because they're SD cards, I'll just slide the tab into the lock position and put it back into the card wallet. That makes it really easy to make sure that I'm not accidentally erasing data. Now, besides putting it back into the card wallet, I am backing it up twice. I bring two drives out into the field. In this case, they're just bus-powered hard drives. I do have a Drobo unit that's a rated hard drive that's also redundant, and I back up to that, but this is very easy because they're small, they're lightweight. Each of these is a full terabyte, so I traveled out with 800 gigs of storage. Well, I brought back a terabyte drive for each one. That gives me a little bit of headroom in case I start to develop or process some images. I've already started to play in Photoshop on a few of them. This allows me to have two complete copies of the material backed up before I leave on location. I know it's tiring and at the end of the day, the last thing you wanna do is back up your images, but this is a great thing to do because it's gonna allow you to check over those shots. Was there any problems, anything wrong with the camera? This is how I spotted some issues with some of my lenses that I found that some were better in certain conditions than others because I was really pushing them, shooting at 600 millimeters on one, for example. This really helped me feel comfortable with the gear and analyze the results I was getting. Plus, by backing up to two destinations, it made it a lot easier to make sure that that stuff was safe. Now, when I travel back, I'm gonna put this in two separate places. One's gonna travel with me on the plane. The other is gonna go into my baggage that's checked. That's gonna give me potentially two separate cases. If you're a little bit morbid, you might even want to consider going ahead and mailing one of those drives home. If you were out doing this for a professional shoot, that would be the standard. Or give it to a colleague who's traveling separately. But ultimately, before I leave Costa Rica, I'm going to have this data on three separate hard drive units and on the cards themselves. Four copies, it's pretty unlikely I'm going to lose anything, knock on wood. But it's okay to be paranoid when you're capturing great images in a great location.